Canva. The good, the bad, the pretty convenient. Now, I thought Canva was some hellish thing from the 8th dimension here to destroy designers and design forever. We're going to jump into Canva. We, what we think is good about Canva, what we think is bad about Canva, as well as what things are actually pretty convenient about the software as well. Uh, I say the software, the website. I will say this though, Canva is a tool for designers, social media managers, and the like. It is not a replacement of design software. Uh, and I do want to make that very, very clear because I do believe there are some people that think that, oh, Canva is pretty much what designers do. It's got pieces of what we do, but it is not the be all and end all of design. Any form of you know business website software that has a logo maker feature, I feel that the more people that use it, the more issues you'll potentially come across when you try to monetize your business. If you try to trademark a, the logo itself, a, issues could arise where other people have actually used the same elements or even you know pretty much the same logo, and then you could run into some legal trouble. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's fight in. Now, like I said, I use Canva for the vast majority of my social media uses, mostly on Instagram, uh, creating uh, carousels and, you know, creating uh, stories as well that have the uh, design elements that I've designed on my Adobe softwares. Sometimes I throw some free ones in there from Canva as well, which to be honest, have really, really useful and they have, you know, thousands of uh, different elements that you can use. And I feel ultimately, that makes it really, really convenient and makes it incredibly efficient in terms of time-wise instead of me. Say, for example, if I'm uh, drawing an arrow, it could maybe take me, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds uh, to do that. But then I would need to export that with a transparent background and then upload it into Canva and then actually place it onto the story or the carousel that I'm creating. Whereas one of the great things with Canva is they've got ready-made templates for almost everything. I find that Canva really speeds up the process in terms of creating content. As well as a lot of other designers, we have other work to do. We have clients to work with. Uh, for example, I have, I run one-on-one -on -one sessions, I run workshops as well. Uh, I sometimes speak at colleges and universities, which is really, really cool, by the way. I did not expect that to ever happen, but apparently people seem to like me and my story and the way I tell it. Um, which that's that's a totally different video um, but we're really busy and we don't have a huge amount of time to create content uh, whether it's you know video whether it's YouTube whether it's you know reels TikTok whatever it is unless we are you know promoting our own work it just it all takes extra time and I feel Canva really makes it incredibly efficient to pull your assets, upload your images a, a, you know, a high quality into Canva and it's just a drag and drop. And you know, for whatever it is, Canva's probably got it. Canva's probably got the style that you're looking for. And if not, you can always upload your own little icons and then just drag and drop them. And it's as simple as that. And I think another really cool thing about Canva, especially with some of the uh, graphic elements that you can implement and bring in, you can change the color of them which is very very cool and the I believe the pro version of Canva you can actually remove the background on uh, images as well which I've used in the past for several uh, carousels uh, as well that I've, uh, I've done that I've used on my face I've also realized as well that over the years I haven't looked particularly different but I feel that I need to actually take my do my own sort of brand photo shoot. so enough of me rambling let's get straight into it the good. Canva is really, really easy to use. Uh, whether you're a complete novice or you're a professional de designer, it's incredibly easy to use. The user interface is very, very easy to navigate through from uh, your templates, your own projects as well, things that you've saved. Everything is there for you. It's all very, very easy to find exactly what you're looking for. 
Albeit, I think it can feel overwhelming at times with the amount of options that you have from a lot of the drop down menus. And I think, to be honest, that's something that make, makes camera incredibly, incredibly valuable is that if you're, you know, even like, you know, myself working freelance, eh, if there's a client that's maybe looking for a template for something, I can very quickly go on to Canva, find a template and then tailor it to their needs. And going on to this exporting options, there is a really, really nice amount of exporting options for Canva going from, you know, MP4s to, you know, GIFs to uh, just standard uh, PNG, JPEG exporting options for images uh, as well as well as PDF. Canva also streamlines the creative process. I don't mean the kind of like, you know, imaginative, you know, idea generation part. I mean the putting everything together part. Canva also has a uh, short tutorials and courses as well. I feel that's another great way uh, for Canva to be Canva, so to speak. Uh, I've also realized as well that I'm wearing blue as well, which was not intentional. I know that is Canva's colors, uh, but this is just the t-shirt that I decided to wear because it's got, if I move my mic a little bit, it's got a little, you know, peace sign. But we'll cover that up for now. Canva's free to use. That's probably the big thing. Canva's free to use. It's rare to find something as useful as Canva in terms of creating content, creating a lot of different things, uh, templates as well, as there's a big green truck that passes. I quite like that. Uh, I need to get a filter for the window. I'd say as well, for me, loving typography, Canva has some really great font choices as well for your content, and I believe it'll tailor to pretty much anybody, no matter what your style is, going from sans serif, or, you know, all the way to serif, decorative as well. There's a lot of really great choices in terms of, you know, the fonts they use. But yes, moving on to the bad, or I say the bad, things that I uh, believe there may be some issues with. And as I said before, uh, people may run into issues with using Canva's logo maker. When you're trying to commercialize your business and monetize you know, your content, whatever it is, you could find that some elements are really similar to other logos. You could find that your logo is the exact same as a logo that somebody else chose. Maybe they just chose a very simple template for their logo. Now, don't get me wrong, if you are a startup, if you are a, a founder of your own business and you're looking for somewhere to start, Canva's logo maker, I would recommend, definitely, because I understand as a professional designer that in the beginning, you're paying out your own pocket and you don't have the hundreds, if not thousands of pounds, dollars, whatever it is, to pay a professional for it. So I do recommend it, absolutely. Use the Canva, Canva, it's Canva's cousin, Canva. Um, you use Canva's logo designer feature to create something just to get you started because then you'll be able to maybe present something to a professional designer when you do have you know, the money to invest in uh, bringing your, your brand, bringing your business to the next level which is, you know, the kind of like growth phase where you're maybe looking to employ people or you're maybe looking to grow out with, you know, the local area or, you know, the region that, uh, that you're currently working in. And with that, yeah, I do recommend using the, the, the logo maker feature. But I feel at a certain point, you do need to review it. You do need to review your logo and you think, right, we've used this free feature. I feel that maybe hiring a professional is the way to go, which... I do think it is the way to go. I'm both being biased and unbiased here because frankly, if you have a professional designer there, they are able to not only visualize and meet the vision that you have, they're also able to actually add a human element to design and to your uh, business brand wise uh, in terms of you know visualizing your logo because they'll be able to take you through an entire process. They'll be able to get the contract set up as well and take you through the entire process and then find something that isn't just you know on any logo maker that you would find which you can't really tailor down much you can find maybe some specific element but it won't be yours so to speak it won't be like this is this this is my baby this is this is my thing that i have this is basically my opinion so Take it as you will. As I said previously as well, 
Canva is a tool. It is not a piece of design software. It's a tool that goes with design software. And it is also a tool for people to use. Maybe you're a social media manager looking to get uh, some content for Instagram and you need it done quick. You can't hire a professional uh, because it's you that's doing it. Canva is an easy option to do it. But ultimately, Canva is a tool. That is what it is. That's what it's to be used for. That's that really, that's all the kind of, I suppose, issues that I have with Canva, which ultimately sound positive in a way. And lastly, the convenient. So we've done the good, the bad, the convenient. So the convenient, Canva's got ready to use templates, thousands of them. You'll be able to find probably exactly what you're looking for. I know in the time that I've used Canva, which has probably been around about a year now, I have never found something that I could not use, uh, whether it's a flyer template, a presentation, a, even if I'm, maybe if I'm looking for logo inspiration, I'll maybe take a look at the logo maker feature, uh, which I'll do that in a different video and it will address, uh, I suppose, my issues or issue with it. And it's really simple, really simple to use Canva. Uh, as a second thing, it's got a really simple drag and drop uh, user interface. Really accessible upload and download section uh, as you're working on your project, whatever it will be. Once again, really easy to use, really simple as well. If you are struggling with it, Canva's got tutorials on it that you can use. Even if you hop onto YouTube for 5-10 minutes, you'll be able to easily find your way around Canva. And lastly, Canva's got an app. So you can download that and you can do work on the go. You can create content on the go. And it's really, really simple to use. Once again, another really, really cool feature of Canva, I think, is the fact that it's got a mobile app. It's catering to its audience, its, its target demographic. And genuinely, I think it's phenomenal because I'm not only able to go from working on my laptop and then exporting uh, whatever it is, whether it's, say it's an Instagram carousel, I can uh, save that on Canva on my laptop, immediately go to my phone, download it, and then upload it to Instagram. And it's, it's as really as simple as, as that, really, honestly. But yep, that's going to be me for today, guys. Canva, the good, the bad, the pretty convenient. I'll see you next time. Intro. God, I'm not putting that in the video.